just a moment. Um, before we start with the keynote, first I would like to introduce Thomas Chang, who's going to be on behalf of the IGF presenting the AlphaGo team with a plaque. Thank you. Good evening. It's, uh, uh, I've been coming to the uh, US Congress since the very first one. I even have the first Congress Championship Cup presented by the uh, Japanese Embassy. That's proof, right? Uh, but uh, today, for this Congress, uh, I, I really uh, feel extremely honored uh, to be uh, able to introduce you to uh, tonight's speakers. Uh, Dr. Ajia Huang, please, yeah. uh, from the DeepMind team and uh, the principal author of the AlphaGo. Uh, and uh, Mr. Fan Hui, professional Fordine, and the consultant for the uh, AlphaGo uh, team. Um, as, please, yes, sit down. Uh, sit, please sit down. Yeah, sit down. Uh, as you uh, uh, know, that uh, the, uh, uh, you, you will actually find out from today's talk and also from the symposium on, uh, during the Thursday uh, afternoon, that uh, AlphaGo has truly opened up some, uh, some, some new visions and new insights uh, into Go. I was at uh, a famous hot spring place a couple of weeks ago in Japan. It's called Zigoku, uh, Zigoku Dani, or Hell's Valley uh, Hot Spring. Uh, that's the place where Kitani and Go Segen conjured up the new uh, the Shinfuseki. Uh, Hokan's concept. That was really a revolutionary uh, change in Go. And I think uh, a, few, a few years from now, we will look at what AlphaGo has done with the same uh, feeling. And uh, in addition to developing Go, um, the AlphaGo team has also done wonders for promotion of Go. Uh, I, I think th they have introduced the, uh, the, some, the, the fascinating and uh, challenging aspects of Go to a larger uh, to, to a larger captive audience worldwide on a scale that we never thought was possible. So, because of these two um, extraordinary achievements, the uh, International Go Federation, uh, at its latest general meeting, uh, voted unanimously to present its first ever merit award. Uh, to the AlphaGo team. I think it's the most deserving force award recipient. And you see the, the plaque here. I just read it to you. The plaque is proudly presented to the AlphaGo team in appreciation of its outstanding contribution towards the development and promotion of Go by the International Go Federation uh, President Chang Zhenming. Uh, Mr. Chang cannot be here um, tonight. And as his vice president, um, he asked me to um, stand in his place. So without further ado, please come here. I'm also asking uh, two very uh, enthusiastic support uh, of the AlphaGo, Andrew Jackson and uh, Andy Oaken, to join us on the stage. Uh, so, without further ado, uh, let me present tonight's keynote speaker, uh, Ajo Hong. Test, test. Okay, hi everyone. Uh, I'm Ajo Hong, uh, lead programmer of AlphaGo, also the hand of AlphaGo. <laughs> Uh, so with me is Fan Hui 2P. He is European champion, also the coach of AlphaGo. 
So we are very happy to be here to uh, attend the US Go Congress to keep a talk here to represent the Abago team and Google DeepMind. We are here to share Abago with you. Okay, so to start with, we should start with Go. <laughs> so uh, I think everyone here agrees, right? Go is simple to learn, but Go is profound and charming. Uh, so Go is a really a fascinating game to us. That's why everybody is here, right? We are here to enjoy Go. We are here to enjoy playing Go. We are here to enjoy meeting with Go people, right? So uh, I heard that we are have a even night tournament. <laughs> yeah, it's really interesting. Yeah. So uh, I, when I was a college student, actually, I like Go very much myself. My mother even even said I'm addicted to Go. Yeah. So I play Go too much, and um, I didn't study very much. <laughs> but they, you, uh, you don't learn me. Yeah, don't learn, learn from me. So. Um, I just want to say that Go is so charming. It's so fascinating game that, uh, to us that uh, it's simple, but it's profound, strategically. Yeah. It's easy to learn. Uh, Ban Hui ever said that you can learn Go actually in 30, 30 seconds. Right, the, the rules are really easy. But actually, you can spend the whole life to become a really strong player because it's uh, profound, strategically. Yeah. Okay, now I will say, a legendary Japanese go player, yeah, Fujisawa Hideyuki. Yeah, uh, I respect him very much because he's a legend. And he once said this. He said, "I only know go seven. I only know seven percent of go. Seven percent. Actually, another version is like uh, he knows less than five percent. So even Fujisawa knows seven percent. How much do we know? <laughs> How much do we know go? Yeah." So I just want to say that even the legendary Go player like him, he said that he only knows 7% of Go. So uh, yesterday, I speak to my Chinese pro friend, a friend, Chinese pro. He told me this. He said he understands Go only 1%. <laughs> 1%. Yeah. I think he was telling the truth. Uh, probably not being humble because uh, you know, professional players, I, there are many professional players here that I think the more you study Go, the more you know that it's really profound. Profound, yeah. It's really, uh, like you can spend the whole life to like uh, investigate Go, to enjoy Go very much, yeah. So this is why, why I say this, why I say this. This is why AlphaGo, uh, the revolution AlphaGo comes in, that AlphaGo is to help us to investigate the profoundness of Go. Yeah. We see the Abago potential that it can overcome the human limit to uh, help us to, uh, to investigate the, uh, the, goal, the mystery of Go. Yeah. Okay. So because Go, Go is so profound, so complicated, that's why it has been very hard for computers to play Go. Um, this is a um, a very difficult problem. That there are major two problems because the search space is huge. There are too many possibilities to consider, and it's impossible, impossible before for computers to evaluate who is winning. That is to say, it is very difficult to do positional judgment for computers. Yeah. Okay, so AlphaGo comes to rescue. <laughs> How AlphaGo solve these problems? How can AlphaGo become so strong? What's the key today? So today I'm going to share with you the key of Abago, the story of Abago that he grows like a child to become a very, very strong Go player. That I watched it uh, from the beginning of the project and until today, it's even uh, become stronger this week. Yeah. So uh, to say about the story of Abago, we must mention the, another milestone of artificial intelligence. That is in 1997, Deep Blue beat the world ch chess champion, Gary Kasparov. I think everybody knows that he's right. Why I say this? That is because when this event occurred, many, many people, including uh, some communal people, they had a dream in them. They dreamed about that one day they can make a very, very strong goal program to beat, like uh, to uh, challenge world champion too. 
because Go is so hard, that remains the only grand challenge of AI in a, a, a game that played by many people. Yeah. It has been very hard. So you, you, usually you said that, how, uh, you hear some predictions. Some people will say, still 10 years, that computer can catch up, trolls. Some people predict 50 years. Actually, I see some people predict 100 years. <laughs> yeah. There are all kinds of predictions. So about 2010, my prediction was five to 10 years. But then uh, before the deep learning comes in, uh, become uh, the, this deep learning revolution that I, didn't, I wasn't aware that it can uh, be so strong. So I will talk about, the, tell you the story now. It was stopped in 2014, February. I still remember three people. That means Hepatitis and David Silver and myself. So one day, David Silver came to me. He is my manager. My manager. So he said to me, Aja, we are going to start a Go project. Just you and me in the beginning. Just, uh, just, just us. So in the beginning, we made a decision that we don't do all, all approaches. We want to investigate, explore deep learning and reinforcement learning. Okay. And Demis was the boss. So actually, we were very excited because uh, Demis and Dave Silver, they are good friends. And when they were very young, they actually dreamed about making a strong goal program. So uh, the three of us get together. We were not afraid. We were ready to face the challenge. We know it's a very difficult problem, but we were not afraid. How can AlphaGo become so strong? There are three weapons. Actually, the key to AlphaGo's success is deep learning. More concretely, the three major weapons of AlphaGo is this, three. It's the first one is human instinct. That is from the Pallas network. I will introduce this. Uh, the second one is reading capability. That is from the search. The third one is positional judgment. That is from the value network. Okay, human instinct. So Pallas network is a convolutional neural network. Basically, it means it repeatedly applies the same operations in every location of the network. For more details, please read, if you're interested, you can read the paper. So Pallas Network, basically, uh, it receives the four position as an input. It output a probability distribution of the board. Okay, to say more easily. The Pallas Network will tell us this. If there's a four position, then you have an input, right? The network will tell you which are the good moves. The better moves have higher probability the bad moves have lower probability, and this probability is sum to one. It is called the probability distribution. Okay? So Pulse Network basically learns from many, many ex human expert games, including some, maybe some of the players here. Yeah, AlphaGo learns many games. And it actually enables AlphaGo to match human instincts in three milliseconds. We have a paper here. What does that mean? That means that when AlphaGo search, do a search in a position, it can get a human instinct in any of the four positions in three milliseconds. That is a four time of a neural network on GPU. Okay, so now to give you a sense. I will do a test now. Sorry. So anyone knows this position, right? <laughs> this is the second game, of our second game, when he plays the shoulder hit. So now I will make, let everyone, I will make a step, yeah, make a test. What do you think is the best uh, move according to AlphaGo's policy network? That is, what is the human instinct? If you see this board, where do you want to play? If your first glance, where do you want to play? Okay. So if you think it's A, please raise your hand. A. You want to play A? Wow, really? <laughs> I see your AlphaGo's instinct. <laughs> okay. Uh, do you, if you think B, B. Okay. C. Oh, more people. D. 
Okay. E. Oh. Okay. Looks like E is more most people. Okay. What about F? F. Okay. Let's see whether the past that it basically learns many many human games and it gains a conclusion with human history. What's the best move? Is this one, honey? Honey. The second best move is this one. Oh, makes sense, right? Makes sense, right? That means that when AlphaGo face this board, it firstly search this move. It will just check this move. It won't search like corner move T19. No, it will search this move first because this is the first instinct from learn from human. The second best move is this one. The third best move is this one. I remember when Guli commenting the game. His he, his first instinct was this one. <laughs> so this is not a very bad move. Yeah. Okay. So you get a sense, right? This is a pulse network. So from here, you know that pulse network is human instinct because it is used usually the first glance. When you do a first glance, that is the first move you want to play. So it's usually not very good. It cannot. It probably sometimes not very good because if you don't have uh, deep reading, right? If, if you, you you think you should play here. Actually, it may be a bad move because a good move should be after reading. Right, reading. So, Pulse never gave a suggestion, but it's not enough to become very strong. But it's a very strong weapon. Okay. So, let's continue. Pulse never is a very strong weapon. It gives, uh, it enables AlphaGo to match human instinct in just three milliseconds. Now, the second weapon of AlphaGo is the reading capability. We all know that the reading capability is very, very important. So actually, my Go teacher, in, when I learned Go, he asked me to do many, many life and death problems <laughs> to uh, practice uh, reading capability. How AlphaGo has the reading capability? It is from the search. So the search basically check many, many different variations it's a computer, so it's very easy for AlphaGo. It checks many different variations and pick the best one. So usually the search, some, sometimes AlphaGo, because how PulseNet suggests good moves, right? So if the branch is not very huge, it maybe sometimes the board, if the Atari, a big group, it's just wrong. The, the PulseNet would just say, you just try this move, just think this move. So sometimes AlphaGo can think of maybe 40 moves. Even sometimes I see 60 moves. Can think to very, very deep. So this, so the past net actually enable AlphaGo to think very deep and very effectively. But search itself make AlphaGo can do some reading, very good reading. So it was in 2015, June. I still remember that we make the search much stronger. We have some ideas and just improve, improve it. And I still remember we test uh, against Craystone, which was the strongest program at that time, with 70% winning rate. That is nearly one stone stronger. So one stone stronger is about 75%. If you beat a person, 75% of the game, you play 100 games, you win 75 games, he wins 25 games, and then you are roughly one stone stronger. That's according to mathematical model. So then we were very encouraged. So I still remember that Demis wrote to me that, Ajah, we are going to form a team. You are no more fight yourself. <laughs> uh, yeah, so we actually, uh, at many different specialists of uh, deep learning, of engineers, they joined the team. Oh, that was, was very happy at that time, yeah, because I feel the team was, uh, I feel much more powerful in making progress. Yeah. Also, I have to teach them some of them Go. <laughs> so uh, I remember I even held a class, Go class, to teach them, teach them the basic rules of Go. It's amazing, right? You know, they make a program that is much, much stronger than that. Yeah, really amazing. Okay, the third weapon of AlphaGo is the positional judgment, which is also the most crucial key of AlphaGo's success. So let me repeat. Positional judgment is the most crucial key of AlphaGo. It is by the value network. To cite the importance of positional judgment, I will cite I, to, to explain this, I will cite a book. Uh, does anyone not know who is this? Okay, so this is a, a Go player I respect very much. He is a legendary Korean player, Lee Chong Hao. Fan Hui described him as a man without a smile. 
So uh, everybody knows that Li Chonghe is very strong in positional judgment. Usually he wins uh, just half point. It's terrible, right? <laughs> half point. Uh, so the book says about this in his foreword. He said, in fact, positional judgment is the hardest aspect of Go, and the one that causes by far the most headaches. I agree with this. In order to perform this judgment accurately, one must be prepared not only to count the score precisely for both sides, but also to take a broad view of the overall situation and balance of the power. This depends on the capacity to analyze sources of latent value, as well as speculative intelligently on future developments. In Go, if one truly wishes to play at the highest level, positional judgment is indispensable. So you see that the, this master player, he emphasized the importance of positional judgment. AlphaGo has the capability of positional judgment by the value network. The value network is also a convolutional neural network. Its input is the ball position, again. But its output is the value between 0 and 1. In the case, to indicate that who is ahead in the game. If I'm ahead a lot, then the value will more closer to 1. If I'm losing, then the value will closer to 0. If the game is even, then the value will closer to 0 0.5. How does AlphaGo learn the value network? It's by self-play. It's by two AlphaGo. AlphaGo play AlphaGo every day. It's ne never get tired. It's even uh, self-play in Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> that's true, yeah. So uh, that was in 2015, August. I still remember very, very uh, clearly that uh, the first version of Plus uh, value network. When we successfully successfully combined into search, it was 95% stronger. That means it immediately get two stones stronger. Yeah, two stones, more than two stones actually. So I will tell you a story. The battle network was actually invented by David Seo. Yeah, it was uh, my manager. It was in uh, some office in uh, in DeepMai. And one day David Silver told me that Aja, I have an idea. I think it will work. That, uh, that is called battle network. Yeah. So I was a bit skeptical. I thought, mm, will that work? So I was a bit skeptical, but I, I, felt, I, I told him that, okay, let's try. So um, after a while, another colleague, uh, Arthur Gu, he's French, he joined, the, he joined the team only for one purpose, to make the battle network work. And yeah, so he told me, he told me, Aja, I'm going to make a value function for you. So you maybe don't think that it's very significant, but if you know the background of Go, then you know that making a value function of Go for Go is considered impossible for many, many years, for many uh, researchers, impossible. Actually, some really strong researchers write paper to prove that it's impossible. <laughs> yeah. So you, you see it's, it's, uh, how hard it is. It's until Monte Carlo tree search, uh, when it, uh, when, some, when, when it was invented. So the, the, the pro Go program evaluated the position by running Monte Carlo simulations. Yeah. But it was not strong enough. They only reached six times, catch it six times. Yeah. It is, uh, so Battle Network actually helped AlphaGo a lot, a lot. It enabled AlphaGo to reach professional level. AlphaGo played against itself. He learned from itself. He learned from his failures. He learned it see value, then he adjusted, become stronger and stronger. It is the source of the, his positional judgment getting stronger and stronger. So the lesson actually is very precious to us. If we become, want to become stronger in playing Go, we should do positional judgment. It's really important. Yeah. This, is a success, this is the story of AlphaGo to tell us. OK, so last sentence, you, you see that. <laughs> so after, at this point, in two thousand uh, around August, when we see the big jump, we were very, very excited. We think AlphaGo should be around KGS 9 times strength. Because I played one game against AlphaGo that time. And I wasn't very serious, but I was uh, crushed by AlphaGo. <laughs> yeah. uh, it was, so I, feel it, I can feel it was very strong. Yeah. And so we were planning to challenge a professional player. So uh, before handing the talk to Fang, we will take turns. Uh, Fang, we will say about his story, but before uh, 
handing over to Fan Hui. I will tell a story. Why we pick Fan Hui? I will tell a story. Okay. So I, actually, I suggest Fan Hui to the company because I met Fan Hui in Dublin, in Terminal. I attend Terminal just, yeah, before. And uh, so I think in one night of the Terminal, Fan Hui is going to play a Korean player called Kim Yong San. And uh, Kim Yong San, and that, at that dinner, Kim Yong San said he's going to drink. Uh, to his friends. And Fan Hui told him, drink, go to drink. Then Kim Hong-sam said, you don't come with us? Then he said, no, I have the game tomorrow. I don't drink tonight. <laughs> so you can see uh, the professional player, uh, Fan Hui was self-controlled. I was, uh, I, I listened to this uh, and I, I think Fan Hui, I was impressed by Fan Hui that he's a you know, good man. <laughs> he, uh, he has a very honest with goal, you know, very much. And actually he also very strong. So. After consider very seriously, we actually after we contact Fan Hui for a match. Yeah. So next, I will give to Fan Hui to introduce. Thank you, Aja. So now it's my story. Okay. Um, last year, after the European Go Congress, I come back to French. When I come back home, I receive an email, email um, read by Madi. Uh, she is also in the team, Asbaco team. The email is very simple. It's right, something like, we are the company in London. We want to invite you to visit our company. So, first thing I see this email, for me, maybe it sounds trick, because I have nothing in this email. What's happened? And my English is not good, so normally, for all the email English, for me, it's spam. I reject it. <laughs> normally. But I don't know why. I don't know why. I gave the answer with the email. Look like, okay, I want, no problem. But uh, what is next step? And uh, Maddie proposed we have the meeting in the Skype. Um, so we have the meeting. The, in the meeting, has Madi and also David Silver. Silver. We have the meeting in Skype, and we talk. He talked me about DeepMind and also the Google. And also, one thing is more important. He talked me exciting project. He wanted me visit the company about this. So I think I told him, okay, why not? It's very good. I want to visit London. Why not? And uh, I try to go to the uh, website, the DeepMind website, to understand this company is real. <laughs> I find something in the spy side, something about Go, I read something, I don't really understand about English, but I see Go in this uh, somewhere, I think, okay, maybe it's true. And before I go to London, I think many, many things, because it's with Google, I think maybe. Maybe I will go to in the special room and we, I will have the many, many wear everywhere in the hand, the body, and I will play Go, it makes some research to understand Go player how function. I really think about this. Sometimes I feel scared about this, but why not? It will be interesting. And the first visit to London is 26, 27 September. When I go to office, I see Madi. I say, oh, it's a real company, and everybody look like normal. <laughs> and Madi tell me the real project. He tell me we have some program named is AlphaGo, and we want you play with AlphaGo. So when I know I will play with program, I feel relaxed. <sighs> so easy. Just play with AlphaGo. So easy. But you know what's happened. <laughs> and the Madi tell me, we don't have the experience about um, the Go match. We don't know how playing. So you can tell me what do you want. So all the condition play with AlphaGo. I think, OK, this is a normal match, but it's just a program. So it will be easy. I think one hour is enough. Madi tell me, do you sure one hour is OK? So, of course, one hour is enough. Will be easy. So, we have fixed all the conditions to play 
the, the, um, all the match. We have a five match, uh, official no match uh, to long match, one hour by players and also the POV time. And also five uh, happy, uh, uh, no official match, the happy to go, the rapids go. And for second visit, I go to the London, it's a five and nine October. I remember the first game I played with AlphaGo. For me, it's very easy. So this is, because before this match play with AlphaGo, I have a so very old experience. I think it's 2005. In French, we have some program, my name is Mogo. I don't know you know this or not. Mogo is very strong to play 9 for 9. I remember the moment I played with Mogo, just a computer just very close with us, and another play, um, engineer to play the stone in the, in the board. I remember the beginning of the game, the machine just uh, turned normally, looked like, uh, like this. But when we're fighting, the machine turned like, uh. <laughs> so, this guy is real thinking something. <laughs> funny, very funny. So this is my first experience with a machine play. So I think maybe AlphaGo is look like this too. He needs thinking to lecture the local, how fighting exit, like this. But I think the human, we're very strong to the global thing. We can see everything together to have the organization. So it is why the first game I try to play global, to play something slow, don't, don't fight more. And when I play with AlphaGo, I feel AlphaGo wants this too. He wants to play something global too. For beginning, I don't understand, but now I'm real understand now. And for, for first game, I lose the game. But because I think I make some mistake for the use After the first game, I think, ah, if I don't make this, this mistake, I think I can win the game. But today, when I think again, I think even I don't make this mistake, I will lose the game again, I think. But for the moment, I don't know. I think I will have the chance. And for the second game, I try to change my strategy. I fight everywhere, but I lose also. And you know, I lose all my five games. Maybe someone you uh, see the picture in internet. I have this position. <laughs> Maybe no. This is very easy because the last game, I have very, very, very good position. I have very easy move, look like maybe 15, uh, 15 Q can know. So just the one honey in the first line, I can kill everything. But in reality, I don't see. I play, I, I don't know why I don't see this move. Just when we finish the game, Acha tell me, um, Professor Fan, why do you not play this move? And I do this. <laughs> And you will see the picture. So, for me, when I lose with AlphaGo, first game, when first game I lose with AlphaGo, I talk Madi. Tell Madi, you know, this game we play just in this room, but it's a real historical important for Go because this is the first time the professional Go players lose with a machine, with an equality game. I think it's very important for everyone, even for the world. Madi told me, I know, I know, but uh, you okay? You feel good? Said, no, <laughs> very bad. After five games, I feel something very strange for me. I feel something, my goal world is totally crushed. I don't understand nothing. I don't know how to play. My opening, I don't know is good or not, because I see in the future, very quickly, AlphaGo will be the best in the world. I feel something like this. But something also changed after this event. So I will come back and give you Aja for the next step. Thank you. OK. Uh, so actually, when we play, uh, when AlphaGo was ready to play Fan Hui, he was able to give three stones, KG six stones, four stones, 
and still 80% win rate. Yeah. So I think we'll, in the meeting, I was tell I was tell I told Fangfei that his program is very strong. Uh, he can give many handicaps to Tracer. I think probably he didn't <laughs> notice the uh, uh, yeah. Okay. So after Fanghui match, Abago didn't rest. Abago keeps improving. Uh, we improved Abago in majorly four aspects. The first one is improve better network. Abago play against itself. Improve the positional judgment. Also, we improve the past network. That improve the human instinct that's uh, used in the search, as I described. Also, we improve the search. Improve its reading capability. Make our goal to search more effectively, to search, to think more effectively. Also, we improve the hardware. It's called TPU, Tensor Processing Unit. It's this machine, the right side. So when we were in Seoul, Avago was in America, in the data center of Google. So this machine, as you can see a board in the, here. Right side, here. Because the team was very happy. <laughs> uh, they made a product that was used by Avago. So the machine, uh, Avago was thinking much, much faster by the machine because he can generate the neural network output much faster. Yeah. In, so it's not no not anymore three milliseconds. It's much shorter yeah, time period. So Avago can search and think much much faster. Uh, I remember that in, that was in Christmas. You know, my team members didn't rest in Christmas. <laughs> yeah. It was a, a engineer report us that it was much stronger when he successfully run Avago in the TPU. The winning rate I cannot tell you the winning rate, but the, the winning rate was very large. And I was, oh, I cannot, I was very impressed. Yeah. So it's in Christmas. I received email. <laughs> okay. Here is the rate of progress of Avago. It's roughly one day stronger, one rank stronger since from November 2014 until March 2016. Every, every month, you, we plot the rating progress. It's roughly one rank. Longer. And after this I don't match, actually it's still improving. Yeah. It's much stronger than this I version now. So I will talk about the this I don't match. So everybody, I think many of you can even remember, memorize the games, I think. Uh, so I will talk about some uh, my feeling at the time. So this uh, top left uh, photo, I was sitting in front of this I, I feel very honored. Yeah. Uh, to see in front of him. I'm also a bit nervous, actually. <laughs> I was a bit nervous. And uh, especially after all, I know that as well, hundreds of millions of people watch that match. Yeah. But I'm also very serious because I know that I represent the team. That I have to be very careful in operating AlphaGo. So the top right is the press, the many friends from the media and the press. You can see that uh, I, I, I was really uh, grateful to them because they broadcast the the match to many corners of the world that actually essentially promote Go yeah, to many people. We want more people to learn Go, right? Because Go is a, such a fascinating game. Uh, also, it, they also promote AI. Yeah. So the uh, bottom left photo is the war room in Seoul. Here, we can, the team can monitor AlphaGo. How is was AlphaGo thinking and what was the status of AlphaGo? Is, if you walk in this room, you can feel it's very serious in the room, especially in game four. It's very serious. <laughs> okay, so the button uh, right is Abago received the professional night uh, certificate from the Korean Badu Association. Yeah, it was a very glorious moment for the team. We were we made it. Yeah, we made it, and um, we it's a hard work uh, of the team, the whole team. It's not just one person; it's a whole team. So I remember. After the first game, when Abago defeated uh, this idol, so David Silver came to me. <laughs> he, he didn't say any word, but he just called me. <laughs> uh, what's the feeling? I understand very much. He didn't say anything. The feeling is this. The feeling is that when two years ago we started the Go project, we wasn't sure that we can make anything work, actually. <laughs> yeah, because uh, we, did, we weren't sure that the deep learning can work for Go. But we didn't expect that Abago can become so strong, one, day, one rank strong improvement every month it, until reach the this other match. So we were uh, uh, silently confident that we can win. 
Uh, so the, when he told me, I, I know that uh, he was very happy. And uh, we actually made it. It's a great team, really. Right? It's a great team. So he's kind of a co-worker affection, <laughs> I think. So I think uh, from Abago, I also, learned, I also appreciate the team very much. Yeah, it's a, you know, sometimes uh, a good product or a good, good thing, you need to work together to make a good thing work. It's very important. Okay, so I will quickly go through the five games to see, to tell you how Abago thinks. The first game is this move, 102 move. Uh, it was uh, Abago's move, very impressive. Uh, Abago, in this game, you can see the barrel part, actually. I, I, I will expand here. As I said, this is the positional judgment of Abago. Majorly, the value network is the thick line. So in the first beginning of game, it's 50%. So the game was even. Then gradually climbed to 100%, which means Abago was winning. So actually, you see, Abago was very happy before move 60. Usually, over 70%, Abago is not easy to lose the game. He's very strong in end game. This is game two. So this move, according to the, as we see, as we saw that, the past net, the human instinct, this move is has very, very low probability. So why Abago choose this move? It's, it's based on the positional judgment of the ball search. Yeah. So he think he, after the search, the reading, and his judgment, he thinks this move is the best move in this, uh, in this position. So uh, you can see also climb to, I think also 50, when move 50, it was, it was very happy. Move, yeah. Third game. Oh, this game is the most dramatic climb. That I think before move 50, it was already 70%. was almost winning, yeah, the, the game three. Also game four. <laughs> oh, uh, game four was, uh, we actually very appreciate these idols. Uh, he found this move because he gives a, a warning that Apollo has serious bug. You can call it a bug or a problem, yeah, a problem. Uh, we investigate many months and then the problem is fixed, but it was very good, a challenge for us that we notice this problem and we try to fix it. Yeah. So this game actually, AlphaGo has some misjudgment that uh, here, he was actually thinking was winning. I think he misread these idols, some combination of moves in the center. And uh, suddenly when he found his mistake, it was dramatically dropped to 30%. And it was a lot of crazy moves here as you saw in the game. Yeah. This is game five. So some pro professional players said this is a mistake here. Uh, AlphaGo, I, I'm not really sure how AlphaGo think, but uh, from the plot, actually AlphaGo was very happy since move 50. So it's 75%, and it's all the way to the end here, 100%. So AlphaGo's uh, personal judgment is uh, sometimes it's different with, uh, with us. Okay, so we have announced it in European Go Hunter. I will announce again that we are releasing some commentaries on five match games with this idol, and three Abago V18 cell play games. And we will release in a few weeks after the website is, uh, is uh, set up. And the, the commentaries is, are compiled by Fang Hui and supported by Guli 9P and Zorayan 9P. Okay, so I will never forget to uh, credit my team. Yeah, every, every time I talk, I will say this, that the team is really, yeah, I'm, it's a great team, yeah, of our team. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks. Uh, okay. So I will, so Fan Hui will share a bit about the, the this type of match. And then we have a QA in the, in the final. final. Thank you. Have you finished my story too? Um, after my five game with AlphaGo, um, after this match, Demis tell me, we were having a small meeting with Demis, they tell me we want to be more powerful with AlphaGo, and we, he want me um, not, not just teaching AlphaGo because AlphaGo is stronger than me, and consulting with AlphaGo to give the console about how progress AlphaGo. So I make many, many trips to London to text AlphaGo to give some proposition. The first 
I, I remember the first time I go to London, I see Aja. I told Aja, why you don't tell me AlphaGo is so strong? If you tell me more, maybe I can prepare more. But he tell me, yes, I tell you he's strong. But I just don't believe. OK, um, you know, I play my match in uh, October. And you, everybody know, in the world know, it's just a January. I think it's 27 January. So have, we have three months about this uh, story. So I need to take the secret. I, I can't talk to everybody. So I have many small stories about this. I remember when I come back to French, I see have some special machine the tournament in China. Many, many programs play in China, some programs from Japan, some programs from, from China and Korean. The, the champion for this tournament play with Lian Xiao, one best uh, professional in China, have six stone anti caps games. And also this condition, Lian Xiao wins the game. And we talk many, many things on the internet about uh, today the machine is very strong before long uh, before, but uh, it's not enough so strong about provisional. I see the news, I can talk nothing about this. <laughs> and the second story is more funny. So in during the October, we have some special young camps in French. We have many, many students young. We have one week the, the, the workshop with all the young players in French. And we have another teacher, name is Huang Yinsong. You know who it is, I think. And I remember during the dinner, we talk about this. Huang Yinsong tell me, ah, I remember in, uh, before three weeks, I play with Crazy Stone with three anti cap game. I think, oh, before three weeks, oh, look like some same moment I play with AlphaGo. He tell me, I gave three stone with the crazy stone, I also win the game. You know, I think the machine is not so strong. Maybe we need to wait more one, two years ago, maybe more. I just eat, I talk nothing. <laughs> I remember this. And I go to, you know, every year in China, we have a Chinese New Year. So for 2016, I go to China for this, um, very big festival. I go to Beijing, see the friends. I remember it's 22 January. I have a dinner with a very popular uh, player name is Liu Xin. We dinner together, we drink so much. I drink so much. I won't talk to someone about this secret, really. <laughs> when we go to go out to the restaurant, I talk to Liu Xin, I talk to him. You know, I won't tell you something very, very important. You need to know. Liu Xin just close with me and said, OK, tell me. <laughs> Sorry, I can't tell you. <laughs> I tell him, you will know maybe 27 January, but not before. Sorry about this. <laughs> and he will really wait, wait the 27 January in China. He don't sleep. He just wait the news. And the real, he knows the news about this. And for me, I know the 27th January will be, all the world will be discovered about this news. So I close my phone. <laughs> and the next day, I open my phone. I see in the WeChat like this, I have two, 3,000 messages about this. <laughs> Everybody ask me, it's true or not? I told everyone, yes, it's true. And I, want, I don't want to go, go out my home. And my wife go to go out to make, do something. And he come, she uh, uh, called me. He told me, never see network. It's terrible. <laughs> so much people talk something bad for you. Don't never see the network. But I know this will happen like this. Because yes, the five game I play. I feel pretty bad, but it's difficult. It's very, very difficult to play with AlphaGo. I want to play best, but it's very, very difficult. I think you see the game with AlphaGo with the Lizard Art game, you, you, you see the something. AlphaGo, uh, Lizard Art try to play the best, but AlphaGo is so strong. Another thing, another thing is very interesting for me 
It's, I told you, after five games with, with AlphaGo, Alpha I feel my Go world is totally crushed. After the Chinese um, New Year, the February, I come back to Europe, I play one big tournament named it's the first edition a European professional championship in St. Petersburg. I go to this tournament because this tournament can be qualified for the in cup, the legendary in cup. For all the professional play this tournament, it's a, it's a real dream, we won't play. This is why I play this uh, tournament to try qualificate. But this tournament is very special because this tournament is just a 45 minute by players. For me, 45 minutes is not enough. I, I need to think more. And with a young professional player in Europe, I have many, many chances to lose my game. And I feel something bad also because I just play five games with AlphaGo, I lose all my game. I, I, I feel something I don't understand any, anything about the Go. So I just go to St. Petersburg, I try to play my game. And something very strange. I win all my game and very easily. Thank you. I try to understand what's happened. Because I see the game, something new, new vision about my game. I can tell you, when you learn the Go game, the first thing you learn is maybe Joseki, the Fuseki, the good direction, the good shape. This is the first step. Second step, you need to try to understand how can be used best with this Joseki, the Fuseki, the direction and shape. This is the second, the, the second thing, second step is very important. But even this is not, is, this is not enough. If you want to be the big master, you need to forget everything you learn. It's true. Because all, everything you learn is also the cage close you inside. You can't make it something new. You play all the time. You play, you think where is good, where is bad. You think where is the juicy key, where is the fuzzy key. Sometimes you forget to think about how the, all the stones work together. This is why I think after my game with AlphaGo, everything is crushed. But I build something new with my game. Now I play my game totally free. I feel real like this. Everything is possible with, uh, when we play Go. I remember the second game, AlphaGo, with the Lister games. You remember the special Kikashi. And all the population know before this move, we thought this one is very bad. But when AlphaGo play, now all the population think, oh, it's very, very good, why not? So the true thing is, we can play everywhere we want. The goal is totally free now for everyone. So enjoying Go game here for everyone, and thank you very much. OK, so now we'll answer some questions. We have some pre-collected questions, maybe uh, filled by some of you. Any plan about sorry about KGS Alpha Global under discussion? <laughs> Any plan to play against who's next from the human side under discussion? <laughs> Will you be commercially available under discussion? <laughs> Okay, so since the match against this idol, what has been so that's what has described the major four aspects. Uh, okay, so we are still making progress. Avago is still becoming stronger. Okay, so we just uh, announced the commentaries release in a few weeks. Can you comment on simply unreasonable success of Monte Carlo algorithms? That is. Why would a relatively teeny fraction of lightning bolt strikes through a Mon search space return a robust move? Uh, so this question is basically uh, monocultural research was proposed in 2006. There were many, many articles discussed about why monocultural research is so successful. 
So then we can re you can refer to that those articles and also know that the major success of Argo is not the search part, it's the deep learning part. As I described, it's the parse network gives the human instinct in three milliseconds in very short time. And it's they are really good instinct. Also the positional judgment that are given by the battle network that learn from Apago self play. When will desktop computer play as well as Abago today? Even on a mobile device. Mm, so I think it's a, I, don't, I actually don't know. <laughs> maybe, maybe after a few years. I, I truly think that Abago in mobile device can still beat me. Yeah. Now, I mean the current Abago, I actually think. But maybe the promotion the, of Abago one day it will be possible. Is there, is there a chance that Abago will somehow contribute to the goal world in the form of making problems or maybe inventing Fuseki? It's possible. That. So it's a future direction. It's possible. To so both Agile and Fanghui, can you share how did you your playing skill improve after playing with Abago? The progress. <laughs> I think I'm more yeah. stronger now. But yeah, so, uh, yeah. I also lose with the top player, so. Yeah, so uh, I also improved because I watch Abago every day. And uh, imagine if Kerjie play for you every day, would you improve? Maybe Sai is good. Sai. <laughs> you know, you know the very fabulous manga name is Ika Unoko. You know this. And now, maybe one day, we don't know when, you will have your Sai in your room. Before Lee's idol match, what was your personal estimate? Was it no doubt me fit 5-0? My prediction was 3-2. No prediction. So some teammates predict 5-0, some predict 4-1. But nobody predict like uh, Abago will lose. And the reason I predict 3-2 is that I think the, I also respect Lee's idol and I thought he is very strong. I wasn't really sure that Abago can completely, yeah, you know, is completely uh, defeat him. So Three two. Yeah. Fanghui, how much stronger do you think top human pros could get after being trained with Abago for a year or two? Uh, I will talk you some small story about this. I think that for the month May, I, I come back to China for some activity. I dinner with uh, Master Nie Wei Ping. He told me it's possible gave the AlphaGo for Chinese team for one or two years to learn all the Chinese players. In this case, we were the best in the world. He told me this. I just smiled. So I think this is the answer. Of course, if some professional players, top players can learn or play with AlphaGo every day, I think it will be the best in the world. Okay, so we will receive some questions now, if you want to ask. Uh, can you pick for us? Some questions for us. How many questions do you want? Uh, maybe, how many time? how much time do you have? Okay, so probably three. Three, three questions. Minutes. Oh, how do I do this? <laughs> All right, I have to say uh, that I do want to hear a question from Andy there. Okay. Uh, the question was, uh, now that AlphaGo has reached top professional status, how has its progress... Oh, go ahead.
Yeah, I, that's a very good question. So uh, know that the progress here is measured by cell plane. AlphaGo against AlphaGo. If AlphaGo, the later version against the previous version reaches 95%, then we think that it's one day stronger. But it's not the human scale, right? Usually we found that uh, probably 90% stronger is one stone strong against human. I'm saying that the rating scale of human might be different with the cell play scale because in cell play, he knows completely itself well. Right? He knows very familiar with itself. So the improvement might be a bit biased. Yeah. So uh, here, I, I think, uh, yeah. Uh, so I. Mm. I'm not sure whether the current available can give progress to players two stones. I'm not sure. But I think maybe possible. I'm not sure. Maybe possible because it's, we, we have to test. But according to the cell play the graph, I think it's possible. But of course, we need to test to, to be sure. Yeah. Under discussion. Under discussion. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, so um, this is going to be pretty random. Doing the oh, that's cold. Sorry. So I know in the chess world, there's a thing called advanced chess, where a grandmaster chess player and a computer work together on a team, and they can play against uh, another grandmaster and a chess uh, engine on a team, and then th that pair together is still better than any chess engine by itself. So it's kind of a tag team. The human directs where the engine looks. Will that be effective with AlphaGo, where you work with a, with a top professional, or is it just another level? Is that something that's possible in the future? Mm. Under discussion is also okay. <laughs> I have to be accurate here, so I would say under discussion. <laughs> Uh, yeah, on a discussion. It's possible in the future, I would say. But, yeah. um, sitting there with the hat. What other, <laughs> what other options have you considered other than um, just getting better and better at 19 uh, by 19? Have you, uh, have you Trained it on nine by nine or twenty three by twenty three. Have you done handicap games? Uh, the answer is no. We currently want to push up our goal on nineteen by nineteen to the maximum degree. We want to see whether how far it can go on this does, progress of rate. Does it play handicap games? Uh, what do you mean by handicap games? Against like, itself? Against other people? Against other people? What do you mean by people? <laughs> <laughs> so, Fair enough. Uh, Uh, so we test it mostly by cell play. So we make sure we still make progress on that. In the next step, we want to help the community by releasing some commentaries that committed by top pros. And next step, we are still considering different possibilities. Once we have a decision, we will announce. Uh, one more, or that's it? maybe one more. One more. Fair. The blue pen. Have you have you replay, have you replayed game four? Game four, um, right? With the, from the winning point to see how the behavior of AlphaGo right. has changed. So the current version already fixed the problem of game four. We tried the current version at moves seventy eight. The current version can play correctly the situation. So actually, the stronger AlphaGo now with stronger search, stronger battle networks. Stronger pass network already solved the problem automatically. So we are very happy with the progress. Uh, <laughs> to be honest, I wasn't really sure. Yeah, I wasn't really sure because we, uh, we, this is a big challenge for us. We try to find out what's the problem. And uh, I think we spent several months. Then the new version fixed it. So I, I would say that 
the neural network fixes the problem itself by self playing and yeah, stronger power network too. Thank you. All right. Okay. Thank you. Thank, Thank you very much. Very nice. Thank you. Thank you.